Rahman Rahim. Today we are going to study about the module 5 basic digital techniques and the electronic instrument systems IASA part 66 and that is the module 5. In today's uh, topic we are going to study about the electronic instrument system which are uh, the basic electronic configuration of uh, aircraft cockpit and uh, it's very important for the electronics or the avionics students to be familiar with the cockpit configuration which is consisted of different electronic instruments and these electronic instruments are the basic for uh, the, the, these electronic instruments are uh, providing the basic control uh, of uh, different aircraft equipment and provide the basic guidance to the crew air crew for the aircraft operation so let's start uh, electronic instrument system of uh, module 5 this was the classic kind of uh, configuration of electronic uh, instrumentation of cockpit here you are not having any kinds of MFDs or different kinds of things but that was a classic kind of configuration of uh, aircraft co electronic cockpit but nowadays the t things have been changed and things have been converted into some of the modified kinds of displays these modified kind of displays are called the uh, multifunction displays or the smart multifunction displays so it's very important to discuss these absolutes and the brilliant kind of things which have increased the worth and the increased the electronic usage in aviation industry so there are some basic things which we need to study about this for example we are having the attitude direction indicator this is the basic uh, indicator of an aircraft which is the part basic part of uh, a cockpit which provides a good attitude uh, guidance for an, uh, for an air, air crew uh, using uh, for fly during flying this part is called is the horizon and this part which is in a brown color this is the ground and these all are called the fuselage of an aircraft we would discuss it later on in a very uh, in depth so it's very important to have a good knowledge about this attitude direction indicator this is the integral part of the cockpit and the electronic instrumentation of an a co co cockpit this is the second instrument which is need which need to be uh, memorized that is the primary flight display this is basically a multifunction display which is having the the primary functions of an aircraft during flying in its on its display so we would discuss it later on in a brief in a, in a depth this is HSI or horizontal situation indicator which provides you a good uh, situation all around you that what kind of heading you are flying and the what kind of uh, navigational situation you are uh, flying in so HSI provides the provides the basic guidance to a crew members air an air crew to uh, flying an environment so it's good to have a good knowledge about the HSI when you are going to study about the electronic instrumentation of a cockpit ND means navigation display this is another uh, this is another multifunction display or a MFD a smart multifunction display which provides you a good information about the uh, this is a kind of a map which could, could provide you a navigational aid to a air crew so uh, this kind of display would be called as the navigation display as I have said you to earlier that, that this was a classic kind of cockpit display in which you are having different kind of dials you are having a different kinds of electronic kinds of electronic instrumentation but here you are having the this this is called the this is called the navigation display this is a navigation display and uh, some other some other kind of instrumentation now coming into the modern generations we are having some other displays these are the modern kind of uh, displaying system in an in, 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 in aircraft 
these are mfds which provides some mfds are for the navigation display some are the primary function displays and some are having different other purposes for their usage is another example now what is ecam and ecis this is the engine indicating and the crew alerting system which is basically the part of boeing the boeing call it as a ecas or engine indicating and the crew alerting system so when uh, you are going to discuss about the electronic configuration of boeing aircraft you would uh, learn you would see a word ecas and this ecas would represent the engine indicating and the crew alerting system and when you would study about the electronic instrumentation of uh, an airbus aircraft um, an aircraft made by the airbus you would have such kind of ecam ecas would be tra uh, transferred into the ecam and this ecam is called the electronic centralized aircraft monitoring system ecam so this was this is this is an, uh, a classic kind of uh, difference between the boeing and the airbus so you need to memorize this thing that the ecam is related to the airbus and the ecas yeah, eicas is related to the boeing and what is their abbreviation and how uh, how they work uh, that, that would be discussed later on this is a this is the modern kind of configuration of a, uh, a cockpit here you are having a captain the first officer and uh, th these are interlinked to each other they can transfer their they can transfer to each other uh, their uh, um, display and uh, this is interchangeable i would like to say that these are the uh, these all are the interchangeable as far as the display is concerned navigation display operating modes dear students as you know that the navigation is very very impo important kind of uh, aspect of aircraft uh, flying because if you are not having a good navigational aid in your aircraft then it's very it, it's it become very dis uh, difficult for a pilot or air crew to to operate an aircraft in a good and uh, in, in a magnificent kind of way so the navigation display has four modes of operation can it can be switched to they are they are the plane kind of navigation display the map display or the vor display or the approach display and these can be selected from a control unit here you are having the approach approach vor map or the plane mode and there are some other manifestations related to these modes controlling manifestations to these uh, modes that could be adjusted or controlled from this control panel map mode now we are going to discuss all of these uh, modes in a separate way we would have a generalized kind of inform information about these modes in a map mode display active flight plan this active flight plan means you would mark some kind of the waypoints you can mark a track you can ma make a, a route so if you are creating a route if you are creating a waypoint if you are cre creating a track that would be provided on the on a map so this map would be a very handy kind of informa information for the air crew to reach its destination this destination normally used with the fms so it's very important for uh, for an important kind of display in a cockpit for a air crew second was the plane mode in this plane mode displays the flight plan means to say that an aircraft want to reach a plane want to reach a destination that could be a simple plane from a runway to a destination that how much your destination is away from your point there could be some kind of the other that is east and north and south or uh, north east west north south means to say that from the uh, reference to the north where you are at the present point that could be a plane kind of in plane mode 
VOR mode used for NDB means band directional frequencies are <coughs> VHF omni radio approaches this provides these both are the and non directional beacons and the vors are approach modes uh, approach kind of uh, facilities which could guide you for reaching on a on a different location and this is approach mode approach mode means when you are going when when, when you have to reach on a landing strip or a runway you would use the ILS tecan or different kinds of uh, landing aids and this these landing aids could be a very uh, vital aids for the landing of an aircraft so when you are on landing positions or the approach position you would select this approach mode this is the failure within the system if if you are having different kinds of failures within the system that could be a uh, this system is having the capability to analyze itself and the could conduct its built in tests and these built in tests could provide you a sufficient kind of information that where is the fault and how you can rectify it or what kind of the rectifications could be could be done on this uh, system so this is a very automatic kind of uh, system which could provide you a good guidance related to the displaying systems now we are going to discuss something if information to display unit is unvalid the information is removed from the screen and replaced by a cross a red cross requires immediate action and an orange cross flight crew can delay it if you are having a cross a red cross it means that it needs Im an immediate kind of action if you are not if you are not rectifying that uh, cause of effect it's it could be a fatal kind of things for your system as well and orange cross means that if you can you you can you have the time to rectify it and clear it so these are these kind these the, 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 this is some kind of the practical examples here a failed display unit these all are working and this uh, display unit is failed but uh, i want to share a, a kind of information with you people that these the, the all information which is displaying on these display units can be interchangeable with the other display units so it's not a big problem priorities either an automatic logic system or the manual pilot actions can reconfigure what is displayed the most important display is the primary function display primary function display you need to have such a uh, thing in your mind that uh, primary function display should be your most prioritized kind of display which you need to have all the time during your flying this is another example with this our today's lecture is ended i hope you would like it and uh, it will be a very informative kind of uh, uh, lecture for you and uh, don't forget to subscribe our channel for more stuff and uh, give a positive feedback to us for improvement in our teaching manners so thank you very much